As Specialized launches its new Varda SLE road bike, I ponder if e-bikes are key to the future transport solution. The UK government is pumping a massive two billion pounds into putting cycling and walking at the forefront of mobilizing the population post lockdown. And I really believe e-bikes are going to be integral to being successful. I was actually living and working in London for the first commuting boom some 10 years ago. And it was amazing to see so many people swap public transport for bicycles and discover the many benefits of cycling. Getting to work on time, feeling fitter, and spending less money on train tickets, the name a few. But it was largely young and fit people. Bicycles are amazingly accessible. They work really well in flat cities like London and appeal to people with good fitness. But there are many people fearful of the fitness barrier of cycling and many towns, cities and rural areas are far from flat. It only takes one big hill to make a bicycle seem a less appealing transport option. That is where I believe e-bikes really come in. Far from cheating, e-bikes actually remove the fitness barrier and make cycling accessible to many, many more people. People who don't call themselves cyclists but see the benefits a bicycle can offer over a car or public transport. This is where e-bikes offer the opportunity to unlock the potential of cycling for a great number of people. I'd use one. I work in an office two days a week and it's about a 50 kilometer ride each way. Now I do it sometimes on my normal road bike and it's a great ride on a sunny day but it's a bit of a slog, got a heavy backpack on, I need a shower at the other end and a big breakfast and it does tire me out for the rest of the day. And it's where e-bikes could really come in. And this brand new specialized Varda SL, freshly launched today, is just the sort of bike that could serve a great many people, myself included. It's not the only one on the market. There's that brand new Canyon Endurance on, I showed you a while ago, link in the card above. So quite a few examples in the category and price range. But since that Specialized Varda SL is brand new and just been launched a few minutes ago, let's take a closer look. It's priced from £2,499, which is pretty reasonable for a state-of-the-art e road bike. Yes, there's a lot of cash, but show me a car that costs this much brand new. It's got a 320 watt motor integrated into the alloy frame with a range of 130 kilometers. And if that's not far enough, you can add another battery for an additional 65 kilometers of range. I reckon that 130 kilometer range is enough for most people with a typical commute being in the region of five to 25 kilometers each way. So for some people, it'd do a week of commuting, no problems at all. The beauty of the specialized system is that it's very light and there's very little drag in the system. That means when you go above the 25 kilometer EU mandated speed limit on all e-bikes, you can still keep pedaling and keep piling on speed if you want. The motor matches your pedaling speed and essentially doubles your power. So what you put in at the pedals, it matches. It's claimed to deliver a smooth assistance and there are three modes to tune the power to suit your requirements, eco, sport and turbo. This bike even has Bluetooth. Yes, it has Bluetooth. You can control the modes the bike offers via the specialized mission control app on your smartphone. This app lets you customize the bike Make sure you've got the latest firmware and see how many miles you've ridden in total. So a neat addition there. But you don't have to use the app. There's a control button right on the top tube to select the modes and turn the bike on and off. So very simple to use. Because there's a claimed zero drag with the motor turned off and the whole bike weighs a claimed 14.9 kilograms, you can ride with the motor turned off. That means you can extend the battery range for those times when you don't need the assistance. It means should you venture far from home on a long ride, and go beyond the range of the battery, you're not gonna be stranded with a heavy bike that's impossible to ride up the hills, as is the case with some really heavy e-bikes on the market. That low weight also means it's easy to move the bike around. Carry up the stairs to your flat or office, for example, and that's something you don't wanna try with some of the heavier e-bikes on the market, which you definitely put your back out to try and lift one of those bad boys. The alloy frame looks really smart and has space for wide tires, up to 42 millimeters. So you could fit some gravel tires and go off-road throw the loop around the woods on your way to work for a bit more fun. You can also run 650B wheels and go even wider up to a massive 47 millimeter wide tire for even more comfort and off-road capability. Extra comfort comes from the Future Shock 1.5, a small suspension damper under the handlebars offering 20 millimeters of suspension borrowed from their performance road bikes like the Roubaix and borrowed from their mountain bike range with a wide range gearing with a single chain ring to help you on the hills and a nice chain guide to keep your trousers clean. As for prices, there'll be two bikes here at launch in the UK, with the SL 4.0 costing £2,499, 
and the SL 5.0 costing £3,299. There'll be so-called equipped versions, which come ready fitted with mud guards and lights so they're ready to commute straight from the shop showroom floor. They cost £200 more, so a decent price for those extras you'd normally have to add yourself. So that is a really quick first look at a brand new specialised Varda SL flat bar e-road bike. A lot of interesting technology there, a really neat design, integrated battery and motor, uh, control it from your Bluetooth smartphone app or from the top two controls. Uh, looks a really smart spec. Prices are pretty reasonable compared to some other bikes in the category. And as I said at the top of the video, I think e-bikes like this could be the potential to unlock cycling commuting for many, many more people beyond uh, just cyclists like us who live and breathe cycling. So e-road bikes, I think, are here to stay. And with bikes like this, I think we're going to see a lot more people get into cycling post-lockdown, post-coronavirus, and hopefully more people cycling is better for all of us. So that is the Specialized Varda SL. So a bit of a departure from my usual road bike and mountain bike reviews here on my own channel but it's something I think we need to discuss, a debate we as a society need to have in terms of how we're gonna get more people cycling uh, off public transport, social distancing, and cycling really is a key. And I think e-bikes are gonna be integral to really unlocking this potential, as I said earlier in the video. But let me know what you think of e-bikes uh, in general and what you think of e-bikes as a solution to the transport problem we are facing here in the UK and probably around the world as well. Uh, so get down in the comment section below. If you've got any questions, uh, observations, do let me know. I'd love to hear from you. As always, it's great to have a debate in the comment section after the video. So I'd love to hear from you uh, all the time to so make sure you get down there. But that's all for now. Make sure you hit that like button, enjoy watching it, and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. Um, if you're new around here, uh, thanks for viewing my video, and there'll be loads more bike reviews if that's sort of stuff you want to watch. Make sure you stick around. But that's all for now. It definitely is all for now. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, keep pedaling, and I'll see you all again soon.